anything is possible with a new modesty screen. You can tell we're in Essex, can't you? Yeah. God. Ed, we are so contemporary, aren't we? Right. Now, if you'd like to turn mm -hmm. and bend slightly. Bend slightly. And... Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 gosh, that is refreshing. Oh, my, that is keen. Eddie, I think you may have trapped a bit of my skin down there. No, those were your testicles. Oh, so they were. I thought it was hurting like fuck. So, what does the evacuator actually do? Well, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It fucks your house completely. <laughs> well, if that doesn't work, nothing will. Through the switch. Right out. <sighs> oh. 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 oh, this is good. <laughs> By God, this is good. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's suddenly very thorough. Ow! Heavy. Log jam. <laughs> Some bastard must have slipped me some imodium last week. I'll increase the power. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. That's got the little baby. <laughs> switch it off. Eddie, switch it off. I think he's got a hold of my kidneys. Oh, I can't seem to switch it off, Richie. The on-off switch appears to be broken. But well, you've got to do something, Eddie. I can feel my lungs being pulled out from my rectum. Well, oh. I've got to do something anyway, Rich. The needle has gone way past dangerously too full and is creeping up towards close your eyes and run like fuck. <laughs> hey. Hey. Fuck. <laughs> Who would have thought you could be so full of shit? I'm going to have to stick her into reverse. What? Get ready to receive. <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Oh, heaven. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. lovely. Oh. There. Ah. Oh. There. That seems to have done it. Now I'll just remove the pipe and... <laughs> now, you might be feeling some discomfort because, well, I emptied next door's house this morning. Yes. Yeah. So you've probably got their sofa up there. <laughs> what? What? shoved our next door neighbour Thufa up my ass. Well, look on the bright side, Richie. Mm -hmm. What exactly is the bright side to having your next door neighbour Thufa shoved up your ass? You can sit down while you're standing up. True. Good work. Eddie, is it me? Yes. <laughs> Eddie, is it me? Yes, it is. Bad Eddie. Eddie? Eddie, is it me? Or is it something to do with having my arse filled with unsolicited furniture? But you seem to have turned the lavatory into some kind of laboratory. Yes. I call it my lavora bora lavora bora ora tora 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 tori. Wow! The lava ora ora tora tora bori bop bop. The lava bora ora ora tori 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 tori. Fucking close. Please explain. Well, 
It was after a particularly arduous night at the Lamb and Flag, followed by the obligatory eight hours kicking in the police cell, <laughs> when I came to, and I thought to myself, Richie, you've got your name wrong. Your name is Eddie. You are still pissed. You're pissed, aren't you? I said to myself. <laughs> no, I'm not. I said back now. Yes, you are. Do you want some? Yes, I said. So I gave myself some. And it was just as I landed a spectacular doozy of a haymaker on my own jaw that I thought to myself, Eddie! <laughs> Thankfully getting my fucking name right. <laughs> I thought, Eddie, what are you doing? <laughs> You're throwing your life away. On drink, booze, and lager. <laughs> so I decided it was time to do something with my life to make my mark. I came back here determined to invent something that would stand forever as a shining beacon of human endeavour. Oh. Now, ten minutes in this toilet, this, 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 this very toilet, and I had done it. <laughs> and then I started work. <laughs> Famously, like a man drunk on alcohol, which I was. I crashed about the bathroom, accidentally knocking various industrial strength cleaners and the contents of the medical cabinet into the bath. I fell in, face first, and the mixture, heated only by my own multi breath and flatulence, <laughs> fermented. And when I awoke, I discovered that I had invented the answer to all of mankind's problems. The answer to all of mankind's problems? Eddie, what in heaven's name is this? Weapons grade lager. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Sounds like a pretty stiff tipple. <laughs> What's it like? I can't remember. <laughs> Every time I take a sip, I get completely pissed. <laughs> Just one sip and you get completely pissed. Yeah. And there's no hangover. It is a drinking breakthrough. You mean there's none of that awful morning after feeling? There is no morning after. <laughs> In fact, there's no day after. One sip and you go straight into a coma for the next 24 hours. You wake up at exactly the same time the next day, ready to start drinking again. It is a self-perpetuating drinker's paradise. But Eddie, this is marvellous. This could be the defining moment in British economic history. Eddie, we could set up a company and start to make proper money. Like all the other ghastly middle-class twats do. Only better. Yes. This has got legs. Hey, Richie, I've. Hmm. <laughs> I've. Hmm. <laughs> I've got legs too. Well, I've eight legs. Wow. Then all we need to do is some marketing. Oh, what is marketing, do you know? Well, it's just a load of old bollocks, isn't it? Hey, I've got a load of old bollocks. <laughs> well, that's the marketing sort of thing. Oh. Weapons free lager. A self perpetuating drink of paradise. Uh, Eddie, uh, oh, four points. For the strongest drink ever brewed, a sort of hard man blitzkrieg liver rupturing death juice, why have you called it GMTV? Because it completely fucks your mind. <laughs> And that's, that's desirable, is it? Oh, Eddie, why are you an alcoholic? Because I drink a lot. <laughs> that is the word for people that drink a lot. And it's not easy being an alcoholic, you know. It takes commitment. It's not just a hobby, 